Hi, brothers and sisters and friends. God bless you all today. It is April 19th, 2016. And I just want to encourage everybody to just focus on the Lord, okay? Just focus on Jesus, okay? Um, I'm going to share with you a dream I had. This was maybe less than two weeks ago. I didn't share anything before because I don't know if it was for me or if it was really from the Lord. Um, but I saw confirmation, apparently, um, still small voice received the same message from God or like she spoke on this. So I'm going to go with it. Um, I had a dream and there was an angel that came to visit me. And this angel was very stern, talked to me very stern, and basically it was talking about me making videos and wanted me to, um, to not concentrate so much on prophecy now, all right, that to not concentrate so much on the dreams and visions but to focus on Jesus, to make videos about Jesus, about his teaching, about his love, about, you know, just about the word of God and to start making videos about that because there's going to be a time coming up sooner than we think where all that's going to be left is warnings of what is to come. But where is the teaching when people are going to be left without any, without the bride and they're going to confiscate Bibles and, you know, there's going to be a famine of the word. Like during the time of great tribulation is going to be rare for you to even find a Bible. You know what I mean? Because they're going to take it all away. And because this is going to be the time where the little horn comes to power, where the Antichrist is rises and there's not, you know, you're rare, it's going to be rare for you to even be able to use a Bible, you know, unless, um, I don't even know how it's even going to play out, but people are going to need to hear the word of God. And so instead of them just only receiving warnings and dreams and visions of, you know, what is to come, they also need to know about God. They also need to know about the Holy Spirit and who Jesus is and what he came to do, you know, on this earth, on this planet to set us free. We need to do talk about the teachings of him. So the Lord just... Um, put that in me, gave me that dream a couple weeks ago. And so, um, I know a lot of people are, it's an exciting time, you know, to be honest, it is because we get to witness and see so much stuff, but it's devastating. It's devastating for the souls that are lost and the people who will be left behind, loved ones, family, Lord God, I hope that's not it. You know, I hope my family is not left behind, but, you know, I can only pray and let his will be done and give them, pray that he places them in a new heart, gives them a new heart and gives them a willingness to be willing and, you know, just claim their salvation. But you need, we need to talk about Jesus, the, you know, what truly matters here. Instead of focusing so much on the news on YouTube, so much on other people's dreams and visions. You know, I know it. our minds can get excited to see what everybody, is, like, what's going on with this person, what's going on with this person. But it can become a distraction and it can bring uh, the spirit of anxiety over you or a spirit of worry over you, you know. And let's keep focus on what truly matters because the Lord is coming and you know but he's in control it doesn't matter what you hear because remember this is the time of deception right this is the time 
where God is really pouring out his spirit upon all flesh, upon all people, you know, and, and if you are not in the Lord and you are not seeking him and you are not inside the word of God reading, watch out because you could be deceived. The enemy could easily come to deceive you. And right now the Holy Spirit is so strong, so strong. And so just seek him fast and let him do a mighty work inside of you and let him use you during these last days, during these last hours, during these last minutes, because we don't know when it is. But he is coming. And we need to reach everybody. Everybody that we can. Making videos on YouTube is one of the best ways to reach this world. Because, you know, sometimes whenever I'm alone on the street, I get shy. I get kind of intimidated to just go up to someone. You know, that's why the Lord has blessed me with these <laughs> um, tattoos. You know, because... At the center last night, at, at the drug rehab center I volunteer at, you know, the women are covered in women from, you know, they have tattoos and they see me and then I start talking about Jesus to them and what this one's about and what's this one. And it just opens their eyes to how loving and true that God is. And it's just a way, an awesome way to share my testimonies. So, you know, all for the glory of God, all for the glory of God. And he is such a forgiving God, and He is such a loving God, but He is also a jealous God. So if you're putting something before Him, and you are not searching Him and seeking Him with your whole heart, you know, repent, turn away from that, and start putting Him first in everything. And so, basically, I just wanted to share that with you all, because it is an exciting time where there's wars and rumors of wars, there's earthquakes, there's volcanoes erupting everywhere. But just because you see these doesn't mean, you know, it's going to happen right now. I mean, it very well could, but that's not what our focus should be, you know? Our focus, and it's hard, you know, I'm guilty of it too. I get, like, rapture excited, <laughs> you know? I'm like, yes, Lord, you're coming, and I'm ready to go, you know? Those who are in the body of Christ, those who are the bride of Christ, you know, we are ready to get off this filthy planet. But we can't be selfish because if you look at it from God's eyes, there's so many souls that are lost. So many people that need just to hear that Jesus loves them. So many. And so many people need that salvation to be saved and this is the time this is the time that he is pouring out his spirit more strongly than ever and I just pray that you guys receive this word and that you will be a doer of the word and that you will talk about Jesus wherever you go make videos about Jesus let people know who the real Jesus is so I love you all. God bless you. Have a beautiful, blessed day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.